how's it going? It's Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thanks for being with me today. I wanted to show you these canvases that I have ordered. I have the link to where you can buy them on Amazon in the description below the video, along with all the other tools that I use. And I just got these, I'm really excited to use them. They are 12 by 12 uh, professional artist quality canvases. And they're non-toxic, acrylic based, and vegan friendly. And they also list kind of all this fun stuff down here. Uh, triple non-toxic, gesso primed, minimal absorption, texture surface, kiln dried, beveled stretcher bar frame with staple free edges, acid free, durable, water resistant, and non-yellowing surface. You can use oil, acrylic, uh, casein, temp tempera, and collage uh, media sustainable. So that's really nice too. If I have any uh, viewers out there that do collages, I'd love to get into that. So if any of you collage on your canvases, please feel free to comment and let me know. Okay, so there's five in here and I got these for just over $15. So these canvases were only $3 and something a piece. So again, I'll just show that. This is the stress, the stretch canvas, excuse me. I think you say this Davy-Lou, D-A-V-E-L-I-O-U. Again, the link to buy those is in the description below the video. So it comes in a pack of five. And here you can see the back of the canvas. Oh, it looks like these are individually wrapped as well. So that's really nice. So each of these has its own set of plastic on it too. They look like they're in awesome condition. I did check them as soon as I opened the box. Um, they look like they're in great condition. I don't see any bumps or nicks or anything in the canvas. They're very light, so good for shipping. Um, just to maybe show an example, this is a Michaels bot canvas, and this is one of those new ones. So both stapled. I think this one looks a little cleaner in my opinion, but these are also professional grade um, canvas. So, okay, come on now. If I can get this out, we will get started. Okay, very nice. The surface already looks really nice. I'll try to zoom in on it for you guys. So today I do wanna do a flip and drag and my negative space is going to be um, titanium white and unbleached titanium. I'm gonna mix these two together to lighten that unbleached titanium just a little bit, but I don't want a pure white. It will be pretty light though. These are the colors I'm gonna use. Um, I am gonna add some black to the blue to deepen that a little bit. And I do have, um, these colors are pretty dark. So what I'm probably going to do is just add a little bit of this into my uh, cups that I'm gonna flip. But um, other than that, you know, obviously we'll have a lot, lot of lightness going with a negative space. So I won't show you guys this boring part. I'm gonna get all my colors in and mixed and I will come back when we are ready to pour. All right, everybody, I am running low on battery here. So I'm gonna try to turn this out pretty quick. So I have my colors ready here. I have them in the order that we're gonna go. Opaque, opaque, translucent, opaque, translucent. I did decide I'm gonna add a little bit of something else in, kind of show you guys how that develops as we go. Um, I'm gonna put a couple of drops of my silicone in. This is gonna be a flip and drag technique. I did end up adding just a touch of Mars Black, not only to that blue, but also to the green. Gave it just a little bit more depth. And I have this mixed up here. I'm hoping we have enough. This is my light color. Oh boy, guys, I don't know. I 
I'm trying to move quick because I'm getting a lot of paint moving around here. I really didn't want to get that much spilling out, but we're going to have to just kind of go with it here. I say we, like you guys are in on this with me, but I fully am aware I made this mess myself. Getting a lot of nice cells already. I think with these flip and drags, I need to get used to using way less paint because I sort of wanted it to look like a little flower with kind of these two petals coming off of it and it just became huge. Here is a close up. Cells look pretty cool. So guys, let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Let me know how you're doing. And until next time, everybody, keep on painting.